I'm just uh, working on a friend of mine's lawnmower today. Um, it's a four and a half horsepower Tecumseh. Um, I've given it a few pulls and it appears to have no spark, but I'm going to pull the plug and uh, have a look. There appears to be no spark. I'm going to check the movement on the cable. Seems to be working okay. So I think what I'll do now then is I'll uh, reinstall the spark plug. I'll just put it in hand tight so I don't lose it. I leave that disconnected. I'm going to pull off the top shroud and we'll have a look at the uh, ignition module or coil and uh, see, see if there's something wrong with that. I think somebody's had this shroud off before. This one bolt is in kind of crooked, actually. I'll have to chase that thread. Tap, before I put it back in. This way. Okay, so with the shroud removed, if I pull off this kill switch wire, the green wire to the ignition module, if the ignition module is still good, it should have full spark. Okay, so I've reinstalled the shroud. I have my ground wire here, or my uh, kill switch wire. You want to have a pair of pliers ready. Uh, you want to have a pair of pliers ready because there's no way of shutting this thing off if it starts. I'm going to uh, attach a vice grip to the handle. Give it a pull and see what happens. Bingo. I'm going to pull the uh, shroud off again and have a look under the flywheel. Stuck a piece of lumber to, to jam the blade. I'm going to have to take off uh, this three quarter inch uh, nut here. Three quarter nut. There's a flat washer. The key looks okay. So in order for me to use the the puller on this, I have to tap these three holes. I'm just gonna use a quarter inch bolts for those. I've kept uh, the vice grips on the handlebars to release the brake, so I can take the flywheel off. Let's see what we got here. Go slow. Okay, so after a bit of uh, pounding and pulling, it finally came off. And I just uh, wanted to have a look at this uh, kill switch setup here.